Right then, so I haven't done any videos on the way back really. Um, I've taken lots of photos instead, but here is the this is the way back when you get close to uphill when you've got this slope here. I have cycled up it before, but I'm very lazy now and I prefer to walk up it. But this is what I hit you on the way back. Now I've learnt a few things of course. Met a few people. Everyone's really delightful, delighted that it's opened. <coughs> At the moment it's not really completed. And the gate does shut at six. I don't know if there's any rules like when the tide comes in, does the river become more dangerous and that sort of thing. Um, it does, it's going to put an end to evening cycles, isn't it? You won't be able to think, um, unless they are going to do something about it. There's Brent Knoll again. In the distance. Went down there earlier, of course, down that path. Unless they are going to do something in the future. I mean, at the moment, there's no one manning it, and whether they will ever employ anyone, it might have to be volunteers. One way round it, which could destroy it as well is have a toll you pay to go across or a voluntary pay you know like 20p or something if you make it too much people won't bother um, it'll gradually not work but if you have a type of toll not too, not too alarming you, you know you might be able to pay a volunteer to um, man it, you know, sort of give them something. Of course, it's hard pushing a hill up hill with one with one arm. So the camera will be very jumpy. I'm afraid. I'm just going to change hands. They've gradually been widening this track. So I haven't got you on camera. <laughs> when I first came, used to come up and down here, right? This used to be a narrow little track. Ah, let them go. So it's alright going down. Um, it used to be a narrow little track. No tarmac or anything. Yeah, I think that's going to disappoint a lot of people, you know. Say after work, you think, oh, come on, let's cycle over to the beachcomber for a drink and, or some supper and cycle back again. <sighs> yeah, that's a bit disappointing, really, because I'm say people are out all day. You'd have to start very early if you were going to include bring down in it, because that's a hike on its own. So I don't know what they're going to do. Right, we're coming up to a little seat that I have used quite a few times when I've done massive cycles. Say I'm coming back from Glastonbury after a day out, not just down there by the river. Like my walks, I do. I want to get it going again. I've done. I do marathon cycles. Well, marathon for me, it's relative to what my ability is. Put it that way. And there was nothing for me to start the day off. Go all across country, all the way, 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 right over to Glastonbury. Weaving in and all out the lanes and the villages. I have done that so many times. And then this, this bench here, would be like a real welcoming sign. Because I, what I used to do, I used to take a, a little jelly. I used to keep that jelly to the very end until I got here. 
after being out for a seven hour cycle or eight hours. It's a bit like when you're running the marathon, that last bit, because that last bit from here isn't very far really but to where I live, but it gets you. So this used to be sit and rest for a minute, have a drink, have a jelly. Just a little bit of Sheila's narrative, narration. Of course, there we've got St Nicholas Church up on the hill there. That church could have been affected by a tsunami that came 400 years ago. And it battered this side up the river, up right up. I reckon some of it could have been demolished, the side, because there's a lot of damage around by that church. It has got its own history and geology. Uh, right then, everyone, over and out for now.